Hey everyone, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here saying thanks for dropping by. I appreciate your time. Well, I've got an arcade colony quickie for you today. The colony airdrop went live today. So uh, we discussed this in a prior video, but basically if you have at least 5,000 SPS staked and at least 10,000 um, GLS staked, you will start to get an airdrop. Um, I will leave the appropriate links. I'll leave two links in the show notes. The first link will be where you can go to at arcadecolony.com to check on your airdrop if you have one waiting for you. And also just to get general uh, access to the game as well, um, or the, the, the platform rather. Um, and also the second link is going to be for the explanation about the airdrop. So let's go ahead and jump over there for a minute. And... Um, Basically, Khan redid or somebody redid and Khan posted the um, more information about the airdrop. OK, uh, about a month or two ago when we were talking about it, we didn't have the full information. It's still a little bit cloudy, but we'll go through the basics and keep this nice, short and sweet. OK, so we have one billion colony tokens. OK, part of that 4.76% of the max went into the initial fork that's done the remainder of that 805 million and change um, will be doled out over the coming five years as an airdrop and here's the thing um, it's starting out low and as time goes along it will build up and I've got it they've got a chart for you here but they also you know basically restate what I just said um, 50 percent of the airdrop will be allotted to SPS holders and 50 percent will go towards GLX holders and as I've said before due to the amount staked I think you get more uh, of the colony drop per GLX uh, compared to SPS because there's a lot more SPS stake than what there is GLX so we've talked about that before um, but here is the uh, chart okay as you can see the total uh, colony airdrop uh, for year one is 21 million, and then it escalates to 63, 126, 210, 385 to equal equal your full. Okay, and you can see it's basically split down the down the line. But I think it behooves you more if you're really into this airdrop um, to get GLX. Not investment advice, but you get more for your money. I think um, so. Um, and the way they're going to do it is it's not going to work like the SPS staking in Splinterlands. There's just going to be one snapshot per day. And it's at 1400 UTC or 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and they said that 28,800 colony will be airdropped every day for the first year. And then obviously it'll go up. And all you have to do is, uh, if you have the proper amount of SPS or GLX staked, or like I do, I have a combination, uh, just log into the website and click the claim button. Now, there's nothing that, uh, as of this time, where you, you can't go ahead and restake that. There's not like a, a something to a, a staking mechanism or whatever you're just claiming. So um, we'll jump back over here to the page. If you go to this main page and click up here, on the token uh, that is script uh, here is the colony token um, this little three balls icon as you can see i have almost twelve thousand. most of that was um, uh, the the match when it initially happened um, but just to give you uh, give you some kind of idea compare uh, an idea of comparison i have uh, about 12 a little bit over twelve and a half thousand glx uh, staked um, and on my first airdrop, I got like four and a half colony. So a lot of people jumped into uh, chat in Discord and was like, wow, this is low. But it, when you read through the explanation, it's meant to start out low and build up. Uh, as time goes along, um, they're trying to push the idea of being in it for the long haul, uh, which I am. I like, uh, I've done videos on this before. I like the whole idea about Arcade Colony, so I don't foresee myself burning through this or using it up any. In fact, as time goes along and my SPS bag uh, goes up at, at slowly, that's the way I've been doing it. Um, 
and possibly GLX. I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm going to go in any more on GLX. Either way, that they both would increase my uh, colony airdrop, and then it would be there for whatever I want to use it for, um, whether I go into moon carts or whether there's another game that comes live um, that I'm interested in. It'll be there, and whatever happens uh, as far as if there ends up being some way to stake it, Either way, uh, I just wanted to get that out there in case you didn't happen to see that come across Discord or, or we're busy today. This Let me know what you think. Uh, are you going in on moon carts? Are you going in on Arcade Colony, the idea of the platform as a service in and of itself? <clears throat> Where do you stand? What, what did you get? What did you see in your first airdrop? Um, leave me a comment below. Either way, this has been Bronze Dragon. Please leave me a like and subscribe if you've liked my uh, coverage lately. Either way, I hope you have a good weekend and that everyone on your side is happy and healthy. This has been Bronze Dragon, and I will see you on the flip side. Thank you.